Today's video is during summertime. We don't stay too much on the sun because of the skin. Be careful with SPF. Uh, we're going to go and explore the miroir d'eau, which is like the water mirror in, uh, in French. It's like a little lake where the castle is supposed to be reflected like a mirror. Then we're going to go on the other side of it. We just restored it last year and uh, it's pretty interesting to see. It's not completely finished because there's actually a little river called Le Puy uh, that is arriving there and is giving all the water in the miroir d'eau. And after there is a little waterfall where we're going to put an electric central over there, electric turbine, to uh, provide the electricity for the castle for later. This is the program of this year. Let's go. And uh, here is the view where we can understand completely the name of miroir d'eau, the water mirror, because actually you see the water and you see the castle reflecting on the water. It's pretty nice, right? And that was completely restored last year. We uh, cleaned all the walls and we removed all the mud that was inside. We had like a, a huge amount of mud to remove and we had to spread a bit everywhere because it was actually good uh, uh, soil for the plants later then we kind of recycle that kind of things too and uh, now it's full of water is like uh, one meter fifty deep uh, i'm not sure i want to swim over there and i'm not going to do my swimming pool in that uh, and we left some um, some uh, weed growing inside because this is uh, preventing from all the the algs problems and you have the water mirror the miroir d'eau, but also, as you see over there, you have all the, um, the river arriving there and the waterfall here in the corner and with the little construction where we're going to put the, the turbine. Here is the waterfall. The waterfall, the difference of level is a uh, around like two meter and a half, almost three meters. And that's enough to provide electricity, hopefully for the, the whole castle consumption. And uh, because of this, because it's really like sustainable, uh, we're gonna put all the system, uh, the heating system in the castle will be actually electric. We're gonna put a um, chaudière électrique, which is gonna warm the water with the electricity and put it on the heating system after. Uh, that way is going to be completely sustainable and uh, green and uh, that's why it's a big investment too but I think it's a good investment because uh, if it's not too dry and we still have some uh, rivers um, it's going to be a kind of autonomous house which is uh, amazing because uh, the heating uh, problem in a house is uh, part of the, uh, the biggest uh, uh, spend on, uh, on the house maintenance and uh, that was one of the good surprises of the house because usually you mainly have like surprises that cost you more money but you rarely have like surprises that brings uh, uh, hope and, uh, and a future that is, feels like more comfortable. Then let's go. Uh, here you have the waterfall as you see and here there is a construction where we're going to put the, the, the turbine and all the, the, the material. So here we enter the technical room. And it's not going to be exactly like this, but in October we're supposed to receive the turbine, the, all the material. And uh, we're going to do some construction and rearrangement of the room. But uh, this is one of the old turbines. It was uh, like um, a big wheel in the hall over there that was turning and uh, taking this turning too, and this was doing electricity with uh, the little thread that are here, the cables, bringing electricity and providing the castle. This is of course not uh, possible to, uh, to use it anymore. And uh, we're gonna put a brand new material. We call it like Turbine Kaplan. Kaplan is the name of the guy who invented this kind of turbine. And it's gonna be positioned inside And over here, there is a, the wood part that is closed for now, that's gonna be completely open for the water to get in. 
and the turbine and the big wheel will be in the middle and this is going to provide a lot of electrical wood. Then we just saw the, um, the waterfall with the, the building where we're going to put the, um, the, the turbine and the question in terms of aesthetic is uh, how we're going to hide it because to be honest this is really like brutalist style and I don't like it in terms of uh, uh, aesthetic it's not really like uh, going with the landscape then I was thinking about a technique to kind of hide it but without hiding it too much because if you try to hide something too much it shows even more then uh, I was thinking maybe to put just a metal thing with some some uh, vegetation from uh, plants growing on it or to put I don't know like it's a, a little like a green tunnel where we're gonna grow some uh, plants on top I, I don't really know if you have uh, ideas for that I'm really uh, starving for some ideas for that uh, that part uh, you can leave some comments or uh, uh, give me some ideas because honestly this is a very tricky one